Hi, Ray. Can you hear me? Yep. How are you? I'm very good. How are you? Good. And I see we have two people so far, Alvin and Sharon. And we had... Do you know them or... I know Alvin. Hi, Alvin. Okay. Let me... Are they in? Oh, yeah. This is a yes. webinar. Not yes. A... Yes, the webinar is on. I see Joyce joined. Welcome to the meeting. Sat here. Hi, guys. Okay. We'll wait one more minute because we promised to start at 11. You're good at this. I don't even know you could do the... Uh, um, so this is... A, oh, no, it is a webinar. It is. Okay. It's set I was as thinking webinar. it was a meeting, and I'm like, how do you do a meeting where only two videos are in? Um, cool. Yeah, I can show you later. It's just... A, it's a, it's a upgrade in Zoom. Yeah, I've got the, I've got the webinar. I, maybe I have this. I just th I was thinking I was coming into a meeting, and... Um, uh, great. And we have Janet join, Joyce, Judy, Susie, and Walden. Amazing to have you guys. Fantastic. So it is 11 o'clock. We are recording. Hi, everyone. Christopher over here. Hope you're doing very, very well. First of all, jump into the chat and let me know, guys, if you can see us and hear us. And I see Janani joined. Welcome, Janani. Michelle, welcome. Amazing. So first of all, let me introduce Ray Bram, my friend and business partner. He's such an incredible person. You are so lucky to meet him. And we are going to have this session today dedicated to answering your most pressing question related to your business. And then at the end, Ray actually will share with you a very powerful technology that he's introducing. And he has an opportunity for grandfathered price. And what I love about this technology is that it allows you to have in one platform, it allows you to have a lot of things that I currently personally pay to multiple providers, a lot more money, a lot more money every month. So this is such an incredible um, introduction, Ray. Thank you for making it possible. And you guys are so lucky because you can... By knowing about this technology now, if you are just starting out, or even if you already a little bit into building your online business, you can save so much money because I have been paying for years now to multiple providers for everything that is in one platform. So that is incredible. Now, we are going to go through your most pressing questions. So you, if you can start posting your most pressing question about your business in chat, and then this way we can plan how much time we can dedicate to each question. And we're going to go and answer your questions for about 40 minutes. And then we will talk about this amazing new platform. Now, before we start, general rules of engagement. I have just three. Number one is to keep it positive at all times because we want it to be a solutionary added call. It's very important. I can tell you from my experience of building a business for over 12 years, Ray can tell you from his experience, it's very important to see, okay, how is that happening for me? How can I leverage this situation? Even in the worst possible situations, I had a situation last year when someone actually, actually stole money from me and I still saw it as an opportunity that, okay, I learned so much, I will avoid much bigger problem in the future and hold on, we actually, I actually should be proud a lot more and Ray should be proud a lot more about what we are offering to the world because we are actually care about our clients. We take our work very seriously and there are a lot of really bad people out there. So it, you can use every, even the worst situations, you can turn around and use it as um, something that is happening for you. And I see new people are joining. Angela made it. Angela, I think is somewhere very, Five way wait is 6 a.m. So amazing to see Angela Emmanuel is here. Leandre, Leandre, amazing to see you. Leandre is actually going to be at one of our summits. We already recorded an interview. Marlene is here, Peggy, Ryan. Amazing to see you guys. So glad to have you all. So now general rules, rule of engagement number two is to keep it brief so we can cover more on this call. 
And I would say that for some people, it's a little bit difficult to decide what is my most pressing problem. But if everything is important, then nothing is important. So it's important for you guys to think, okay, so what can I ask now that if I get helpful input on that, it will help me progress fast. It unlock some unlock something for me. Maybe there's a bottleneck in your business right now that keeping you back. Focus on that. And number three is to be supportive, respectful, and helpful to others. So if we are answering a question for someone on the call and you have a helpful resource you can share in chat, you have an experience you can share in chat, please do so and the expectation that they will do the same for you. And this way we have this supportive environment where everyone benefits in the, in, in the biggest possible way. So that's all the housekeeping. Let's start with our most pressing questions. And um, if you guys can put it in chat, that will be very helpful so we can plan how much time we can dedicate for each answer. And I know that Angela was asking a question. She wasn't sure if she can attend. And her question was related to once you publish a book, how you actually promote it and make sure that there are sales for your book. So Ray, maybe we can start with that question and hopefully we will have additional questions by the time we answer. Sure. Um, so I guess the question is, is ongoing sales? Is that what we're yes. thinking? Or just even the launch of ongoing sales? I can pull up the exact question. Just one second. I think it was a... It may have been a children's book. Oh, it says, yes, it's just ongoing. in the chat. Mainly around children's book. Yeah, so, I mean, I, I'm biased in one certain direction, and that is building your own audience. Uh, and, you know, I've tried it both ways. So, obviously, you can run ads, and, and I do. I, you know, I've got ads, but that's autopilot. I don't want to become an Amazon ads guru. That's not why I got into this. I wanted to, in, in your case, Angela, it's, you know, you want to share your your great children's books and uh and and so that's it's it's a long-term play uh you can run a summit and that, that really you know that that gets you a jump start but it's a long-term play is building your own audience because now all i have to do to like hit a bestseller list on it i mean it's it's not that hard on amazon anyway but is share hey if you go grab my book this month or this week I'm going to give you a free course. I send it to my audience. And um, so, yeah, I run ads. I do all the above, but I'm constantly building this audience. And it can be as simple as, you know, it's a, your, your audience is a free Facebook group and you're getting people in there that love your children's books and they want more and they're going to share them with people. And uh, I would, of course, encourage you to get their emails one way or another and then let them know when you're doing things. Um, and then engaging in the, when you're engaging with them, even if they've already bought the book in question and, and they're engaged with you, they're, they're happy to share with you with other people just ongoing. So for me, it's, it's an, it's a, it's a play on, um, how do I create an audience? And we, and it doesn't matter if it's a, you know, I do a lot of work with probably mostly nonfiction authors, but uh, you know, one of my favorite people, Paula, just ran a fiction, a romance mastery summit and just unbelievable, created this huge list of emails of people that are interested in her work, interested in her, uh, you know, books and how to write fiction. And um, I can tell you, I think there's a huge, there's a huge coming market swell for children's books because of just all the, the stuff going on in, in schools and things, at least in the U.S. So, um Anyway, that's my two cents. Chris, what do you think? I think that I, I could not agree with you more. We spoke about it so many times. Building your email list is really foundational for building a sustainable online business. And you have to do it with a long-term mindset. It's not something that you, you become an overnight success. It's not something where you can quickly, really quickly get results. For most people, it takes time. 
you have been running Ray business for a very long time. I have been running my business for over 12 years. It takes a lot of time. And, and then you have amazing clients that are with you throughout the journey. Alvin was with us for a very long time. So, and, and we have clients who have been with us for over 12 years. I would say that, Angela, I would say that just start thinking about it long. I'm building my business for the long term. I am a writer and I want to have an audience for my books. I'm willing to work really hard, especially in the beginning to start building that list. I know it is very difficult. For example, when you only have 50 people on your list and maybe you have three people who actually open your emails out of that list, it's, it's not it's hard to motivate yourself to actually write those emails. So what Ray and I spoke about recently on an interview for a summit we just did, Ray asked me this question and I said, okay, so see, see your writing of emails as creation of an asset. And then it is much easier to be motivated. So if you think about it, okay, I, it's an email that I'm creating and I know that only three people will read it because my email is very small right now. And then it will be 10, and then it will be 100, and then it will be 1,000. But in the beginning, it will be three. And then, but then if you tell yourself, you know what, but I'm creating, I am going to put my heart and soul into that email. I'm going to do a really good job. And then I'm going to save that email, and I'm going to use it as an asset in as many ways as I can. Maybe I can create a video based on it and put it on my YouTube channel, and then take an audio and put it as a podcast. And then I will put it in my automatic campaign. So every new person who's joining my list will get that email. So maybe you will remove anything from there that is too time specific. For example, it is you sent it on Valentine's Day. So you remove the fact that it is Valentine's Day. You make it more general. So it is normal for someone to get it on 5th of June and not feel why am I getting Valentine's Day email now? But then you use it as an asset. And then you can also take that same email if you do a really good job. And then over time, it can become a book. I was telling Ray another day that, and, and Alvin will know, we used to publish my other company, Firms Consulting. For that company, we used to publish a, 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 a newsletter called Monday Morning 8 a.m. that included a lot of strategy insights. And that we published it for a few months and then we took all of those newsletters, put it into a book, and it is now available on Amazon. And now for the rest of my life, and after I die even, that asset will serve people. And we have people buying that book. And uh, you can go on Amazon and check, look for Strategy Insights, Chris Safarova, and you will see that book. You will see the reviews people posting for that book, people finding it valuable. And that happens because we put a lot into our emails and we see it as an asset. It is completely normal for me to spend an hour, hour and a half to write one email. And you would think it is crazy. Why would you spend so much time? But if, it, you, if you see it as an asset for your business, then it, it's a different, it's a switch in your mind. And then it is much easier to motivate yourself. And then it also makes you think, okay, how can I use that asset in as many ways as I possibly can? And this is ties well to the next question from Eric. So Eric is saying, the prevailing advice I've read about what to include in your newsletter is to build a relationship with your audience is be yourself. As someone who frequently feels boring and doesn't feel like I have much to say, how can I best connect with my audience and build a connection? How do I get ideas for the newsletter? Think three or three level instead of one on one. Thanks. I'm fantasy fiction writer, if that helps. Well, first of all, if you write fantasy fiction, then you can't possibly be boring. And uh, second, like it, I, you know, I just had this conversation yesterday. Uh, Derek Depker interviewed me for his, his uh, email course, and he was putting me in there. But we did an hour and a half session. We talked through calls, and we had the same, really, a, a lot of the same conclusions that Chris and I had, you know, a couple of weeks ago. But uh, it, what I think, what feels the most, you know, overwhelming or the, the, that holds us back the most is like. I don't want to have to write emails trying to tell people to buy something. And that's 
that's true. Like, I don't like that either. Um, and, and if I read that enough from somebody, then I'm kind of like, I mean, for me, and I, I so I t- basically told him yesterday, and I kind of came up with it on the spot. I said, you know, for me, it's it's taking an old Seinfeld uh, episode. And it's like, it's an email about nothing. And, you know, if you've seen Seinfeld, that's the the, the, the show about nothing. They were pitching a show to NBC, a pilot, and George was adamant that it was a show about nothing. And uh, Jerry's like, well, it's not about nothing. And George's like, no, it's about nothing. And there is like, they said, what are you talking about? And he said, well, what'd you do today? Well, I went to Starbucks and had a coffee. That's a show. And so when it now for me, yeah, I, I've, whatever I've got going on, that's one thing. But for me, what's this? What's the stimulus for the email? What's the interest point? And I, I'll watch a movie. My kids will do something funny. I'll learn a lesson. I did had this email a couple of days ago about this experience with the Amazon help desk that was horrible. Um, I, I get a bad email back uh, from somebody when I send an email that you know writing some nasty gram. Those are all topics. And so if uh, you know, and then it's it's then it's all about. If something happens, what's the moral of the story to me? So I tell the story, I tell the moral, and then I just bridge it to whatever I'm doing, or or maybe I don't, but it's, it's, so a lot of, most of my emails, you'll see, it's like, here's the story, here's the lesson learned. Oh, and by the way, if you want to, you know, apply this lesson, you could click on this link. That's about it. And like in your case, Eric, there's a you know a thousand ways you go. It's like you know I was struggling to write this chapter about the main character today, and to me as a reader, I like um, I don't even know what the genre is because I'm a nonfiction guy, but it's like I poly you know futuristic poli sci thrillers or whatever probably is would be the category, and um, this this book I'm reading. Uh, was it who is it douglas e richards the portals i just finished reading he has this long prologue at the end telling you how he researched the tech that he was talking about in the book and all that and it was like very interesting well that i mean that could be a ton of emails you know i'm into today i am uh researching how swords you know how people combated with swords back in the day we just did a about three weeks ago with my kids, we went on a Saturday, we went to a sword casting class and basically we built molds and the guy poured aluminum in, we, you know, and these are my, you know, nine and 11 year olds pouring aluminum in, they walked home with real swords, but he gave us like this whole history on it. And it's like the swords, they didn't really hit them on the points. They hit them on the flat parts because otherwise it would just bend their swords and chip them all up and they wouldn't be able to, you know, they wouldn't work after about 20 minutes. So um telling that story like that it's that that's what interests people so for me the people i follow they tell me some story they give me some news how it relates to something i'm interested in sometimes it's just a story you know about nothing so very true and uh, from my side eric i would say that first of all I really doubt that you are a boring person. I guarantee that if I was talking to you, I would find interesting things. It's really, it's a mindset. You, firstly, who is to say that you're boring? We are all unique. There are never, there's never going to be and never was another Eric Court in the history of humanity. So how can you say that you're boring? You are unique. There, there's no one ever can find another Eric anywhere with your unique talents, with your unique experiences, with your unique skill set, with your unique energy that you bring to everything, the care that you have about certain things. So I would say that, first of all, this speech, because if you believe that you're boring, it will be communicated in your writing. First of all, get make this. I would write about, I'm sorry, I was just going to say, I would write about what you like. Then, then it's not if it's not born to you and you write about what you like the passion comes through so for me that's like you know i i love seinfeld episodes or movies or you know the matrix and the red pill and blue pill those type of things i like writing about and then it's like well how does that relate to real life or to authors or to whatever and that then you can't be boring if you're doing what you like and then you'll also attract the right people because if you're being yourself that and you're you know 
sharing with stuff you like, you're going to attract the people that like the same thing. And it's, it's, you know, um, Angela saying she read my email about Amazon and it was relatable. So I was like, Hey, I'm not complaining. I'm just telling you like, this happens to me too. And these guys, you know, and I'm, you know, I was shouting and pounding the table on a Saturday afternoon dealing with this response from this ridiculous response from Amazon. But I shared that. It's like, this goes on and every I got so many emails back like that happened to me and worse. And, you know, and, and then it's like, Hey, yeah, we're all in this together. Builds connection with your audience. Same thing. If, you know, if Eric is saying, yeah, I struggled for this, whatever. I don't know what type of fantasy fiction you write, but you know, we've been watching a lot of dragon shows. Like I struggled with the scene with the dragon. Cause this and that, it, it doesn't have to be a book. It could be a couple paragraphs. Sometimes I write one paragraph. Sometimes if I just, you know, like the Amazon email probably went on longer than I planned because it's like, and then this happened. Um, and that's what people want to read. I don't need a newsletter that says, here's what's for sale today. Um, I mean, there's some that are useful like that, but not many. The emails I read every day, it's certain people. And it's always, they're just good, you know, storytellers or sharing or, you know, here's some news and how it applies to you. Very true. Sorry. Then I said I was going to interrupt for a split second. And I took three minutes. No, no. Thank you so much for doing this. I thank you. Eric, so what I was going to say is, first of all, make that switch for yourself. Just find yourself, find what is fascinating about you, what you're passionate about. I agree, Ray, with you. It's so important. Tap into your passion. Obviously, you're passionate about something. You're passionate about your writing. And you want people on your list who are passionate about the, the, the type of writing that you do. So just... Tap into something that makes you feel alive and then write, just write. If you, if you struggle to write, put on author and just speak and then take that and then edit it into email. But you want, you want that passion to come through in your email. The second thing I would say is for what I found is to write really well, you need to be will, willing to, to open up. And to really be genuine you, because then it is very unique and everything that is very unique is very valuable. So I would say it, it almost feels like you're walking around naked on the street. With some of the emails I write, it feels like you're really bearing your soul to the world. But this is what I think it takes to be a great writer. And then the Third thing I would say is keep in mind that some people on your email list, they are just starting out. And most, if, if you think about how in, in any area, what it looks like, it's really like a pyramid. So there are a lot of people who are just even considering to go into a certain area, to study a certain subject, for example, to be a writer in a certain, uh, um, for example, in certain uh, genre or to even even in terms of being a reader of a, of a certain type of books, types of books. And then you have people who are more advanced, more advanced, more advanced. And the high kind of the more advanced group is the, the smaller the group. So to not lose everyone else on your email list, I would keep in mind that you want you want to be able to share what you want to share, but you also want to try, you want to try to make it accessible to people. So one of the tricks you can use is think about kind of a fifth grade level for your space. How can you write emails at the fifth grade level for your space, for your area of expertise? And then when you go and explain something more difficult, try to explain it in a way that even fifth grader for your space will be able to understand. And this way you can keep more advanced people on your email list entertained and add value to them. And at the same time, don't lo not lose everyone else who's just starting out. And if you start talking about using a lot of uh, terminology that people don't understand and just a shorthand for the, um, using shorthand phrases that people don't understand, you will lose people. They will stop checking your emails. Now we have a question from Michelle. How do you set up and Ray, you will love that question. The, your platform solves all of it. So how do you set up pages on your website to either require an email address to access the information on that page or to do pre-sales of your book on that page? Two separate types of pages. Question. 
Yeah. So, the, I mean, there's a lot of software that we're going to talk about ours, but it's, you can, you, there's a lot of software that does a lot of times just your email, simple, your email CRM will have a landing page that says, get my free book. And they give you the email, it adds it to your CRM, which is the, what is that? The customer relationship management. I just use CRM for so long. I can't remember what it stands for. Um, software. So you can do that. What we're going to talk about is why you would want to have it all in one place. Um, in a little bit, but uh, that can be done. It's all it's just a simple bit of tech. And, but to answer the second part of the question is, this is what I love. And this is what I'm moving to pretty much across the board is what I call a, uh, we, I've got a course on it coming out called Amazing Funnel Formula, but it, so I don't use the word Amazon, but really it's an Amazon funnel. And what it does is like, instead of sending people to Amazon, getting them to buy your book, you not knowing who, never knowing who they are, or what they're, how to contact them, but you got your 30 cents royalty or whatever. Uh, you send them to your site and you say, for step one, go buy the book on Amazon, come back, put your email in and I'll give you this free course or a checklist or the, the accompanying uh, worksheet or workbook or, or, you know, something. And what we call an ethical bribe to get, give me your email so I can keep in touch with you. And, um, you know, I don't typically, if somebody says, hey, sign up for my newsletter, that's not appealing. I don't know, you know, it's, we all know it's like, I've got more things to probably unsubscribe from than I'm looking to subscribe to. But if it's somebody like we talked about writing nice emails or giving me something valuable, and a lot of times it's just like a, uh, my most downloaded book, I've just got a, it's like a two or three page PDF that's like, Here's how to do everything. Here's a checklist how to do everything in the book without having to go to each chapter and read what it was. Like, do this, do that. Here's the link to go do it. And and that's boy, I you know I can't tell you thousands of people over the years have in, you know, have opted in for that. So, but when you step to this, so this Amazon funnel, what I call is it, just it's just a simple opt-in page as well. And when they put their email in, for me, most of the time I'm giving them a course because I just for me I just I feel like those are most valuable. Um, and you know, I, they don't have to be a 40 hour course or anything. It can be a 30 minute quick course to get something done, to achieve something good. And if it's easy to consume, by the way, I think it's better that somebody can consume it, but it, it can be a PDF that just shares some good information. And now they're, they're on your email list. Um, so now one of the thing I've, I haven't checked on it yet, but I'm doing a test probably early next week. So we got an anthology coming out and, uh, but I'm going to do a test with BookBub because the last I checked with their support, you can do this as long as you're not just trying to get their email address. If you're trying to push a book, you can point their ads to your page. And so you point them to your page. Then you say, you can go to Amazon, get the book and be done. Or you can go to the Amazon, get the book, bring back your order number, plug it into step two here and uh, trade your email for this next bonus you know, this course or, or something. And you can even at that point, you could even upsell them to something else if you wanted to. I don't typically do that, but that's, you know, we're going to be experimenting with a lot of that lately, especially uh, because it's so easy in the new platform. Um, I'll keep it moving along here. So I'll just, <laughs> the next challenge myself, uh, Jenner, maybe you know more about that question. Uh, Emmanuel's question. How would you go about achieving this? Is it I don't know if that's a legacy type of question. There's a Build author. Oh, oh, maybe it's a topic for a book. The idea is just to build wealth across generations instead of every doing it on his own, this generation climbing on the shoulders of the previous one in a cumulative way. Emmanuel, if I understood your question correctly, you are asking us how to have a family that is able to build wealth over generations. Is that the question? Can you let us know? And I see Bobari also posted the question. Ray is an email warrior. His stories are inspiring, insightful, funny, educational, and on and on. Loved his email, how social media can ruin your social skills. Yes, yes, Ray is amazing. It feels, it's so personal. It's just a letter from your friend. And uh, it, it, it's, yeah, Ray, you are incredible in writing emails. And, and by the way, so it didn't start that way. Like I struggled with email. I didn't want to do it. I felt like, oh, I don't want to seem like a used car salesman. 
But when I realized I could just be myself and it's like that, that email that Bobby's talking about is that the how social media can ruin your social skills. I mean, I, I, we, I got this guy that was just constantly sending nasty grams and it wasn't just to me. It was, he sent me one. Finally, he was off my list. Then, then, uh, you know, he tried, he tried to enroll in Paul's summit and Paul forwarded a complaining email to him saying, I can't enroll. I can't register it. I like, I looked in Paul's Kartra account and he's like, I'm like the guy reported you as spam in November. That's why Kartra won't even email. You know, no platform will do that once you've reported somebody on their platform as spam because it was like, okay, well, um, then he, then he reported Paul and me to Tom Antion and Tom forwarded the email over. And I just said, Tom, this guy. <laughs> Don't don't worry about it. Um, it, He all he always claims, and that was the story behind it. He always claims you're trying to steal his email address, and we already have it. Um, That was his comment to me very first time. Yeah, you're you're just trying to get my email address, which you already have. It's like, well, then why would I be doing that? Just because you couldn't download something. So, um, but that the point of that wasn't like I'm not complaining. I'm saying, look at what the stuff I get that makes no sense, and it's a. And by the way, so I'm like, but what's the lesson here? Well, the lesson is, if he ever wanted to partner with us, it's like, no, I, I, you sent me nasty grams. I would never be, you know, a partner in the future. I mean, I can imagine, you know, I could never imagine someone like Chris doing that. But, you know, look, what if she had? We wouldn't be here today, right? Um, you know, so that is like, th- there's this idea, to me, there's this idea, social media has turned people into just thinking they're virtuous by bashing other people at, just without any reason. And the, the opposite happens, you know, you're, you're repelling people and what you're trying to do, you should be trying to connect. Hey, by the way, a summit's a great way to do that. Check out this summit or, or check out this. I, I can't even remember where I sent people from that, but there was a, you know, there was a purpose behind it. And, you know, so it's just like, what happened? What's the moral of the story? And what's the solution that my link can tie into that? And sometimes I, I run into a story. I'm like, well, that's going to be better for the thing that's going to happen in two weeks. Let me write that down. Um, and sometimes I think about it, you know, right before bed or, or, or you know, out running or in the shower. And then I later I'm like, what was that thing? And there's a Seinfeld episode on that, by the way, where he writes something down in the middle of the night. He can't read his writing. He's like, it was a great joke. I can't even figure out what it was. That happens with emails, too. Don't feel bad, bad about that. Yes, but I, you know, I think Emmanuel is the, so the approach is for the book. Is that what we we decided the question was? I think that Emmanuel is asking, how do you build wealth across generations, which is kind of outside of a topic of building an online business, but somewhat connected. You know, I mean, that, that's I can just say for me, like the, obviously putting a book out there and royalties. That's you know, your heirs are going to take that over. You create an online business or an online course. They can take that over. I've got, you know, my 11 year old son comes in here and tells me, he comes in and he's like, nah, I don't like that logo like that, you know? So he's already just kind of working his way in without me prodding him to, to take over or at least become part of it. You know, for me, it's like, well, what is he like? They love doing little movie editing and iMovie and stuff. It's like, well, he can be the video guy here in a couple of years. Awesome. I don't have to, you know, outsource that or do anything like that anymore. Um, I, the internet has kind of changed the game for I think for generational um, wealth because you can you can build these online businesses. Emmanuel and I would say that the, the thing is that you cannot really control what other people will do, what your children will do, what your grandchildren will do. You probably know that the third generation often doesn't really this is where everything goes really wrong. So, but but sometimes you see it earlier. So I can tell you that in my family, I was trying to get everyone employed by my company in my family, just so that they have a better future, more stable careers and better growth, professional growth. And, but you cannot force people if they don't have the drive, if they don't have that 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 persistence that you have that online business that business people have that that entrepreneurs have that then it will be very difficult so what i would say is just focus on building a great company focus on you can only control what you do so you can control 
your how you spend your time and you can focus on building this amazing company that delivers tremendous amount of value and that can live on well be, beyond your time on earth and hopefully your your children and your grandchildren will be involved if they would want to and in the and um, if they are not involved at least they will have this additional asset that creates creates money for them so that they don't have to work at jobs that they hate and they don't have to suffer and um, so so I would say yes focus on yourself focus on what you can control and what you can control is what is building a great company but you cannot control involvement of your children or grandchildren or great-grandchildren in that business that you are creating and then we have Malina writing, I'm in the process of switching my newsletter from Wix to Substack. Can anyone recommend how to build readers on Substack? And should you use another kind of email software in addition, or will Substack be enough on its own? So Ray, I can start here. I can say that, Malina, first of all, I would say that just be careful with Substack. I, I don't have anything against them, just my personal opinion. If, if I was in your shoes, I probably would not go with Substack. I would go with something that where you 100% you 100% ethically control the ownership of that email list. And with Substack, well, the last time I checked, you can see the emails. If you think about it, it's a great area for you to take them and put them in MailChimp or another provider in another system later on because people are subscribing to Substack. They're not subscribing to your email anywhere. So for example, Ray's email, my email, we can take our email list and move it to another system because we don't like the system, for example, we're currently using, or there's another system that came out that is much cheaper or has better functionality. With Substack, theoretically, you, maybe you can do this, but the, it's a gray area ethically because I think people are subscribing not just to your newsletter, but to your newsletter on Substack only. So I would consider ConvertKit, um, MailChimp, Ray system that I, I'm actually, we, Ray and I are going to use the new system for the new summit. I am looking forward to, to getting rid of some of the payments that I'm doing for other companies. And uh, I, I'm going to be an affiliate for Ray, Ray system because it's, I think it is incredible. And I wish it was there before and I would not, lose so much money. So I would look at other options before switching to Substack. Nothing wrong with Substack, great company, but I would just think about, do you actually own that email list? Because the whole point about building a newsletter is that you own the relationship with your people on your email list, the audience that you are creating, you putting in all the work. You might as well, you, you need to own, you need to own that email list. You need to be able to move it to another system if you, if you need to. Yeah, I agree. First of all, like I, I get a lot of my information from Substack. So for, as a user, I like that. It looks also, and I, I had considered this myself, I don't know, six months ago or so. And I'm like, should I create a Substack? But when I looked at it, it was like, yeah, okay. It's just, it's a platform that allows me to take money from newsletters or create a free newsletter. And, but it's the same as, you know, if an off, if, if somebody follows you on Amazon, you know, is an author, they'll get notified if you get new books, but it's kind of like, but they got control and I don't, you know, Amazon, you can't even see who's following you. I don't think, can you, but it doesn't matter because I want to, I think the key point is you want to have control of access to your audience, right? So if Chris and I were just talking, it's like, you know, we could come up with this amazing deal today. Let's go, let's make up some deal. And who would we sell it to? It's like, we got to put it there and hope people come by. No, we could just send it to our entire audience, no matter where they are in the world, no matter what they're doing at any given moment, because we control the access to our audience. And so that's the, like the goal. And, and by the way, you could, you could still do what we're talking about and still post on Substack. I mean, I think you should, you know, have as many feelers out everywhere, but the goal of everything would be, Hey, come back to my site and give me your email because you've got, it just gives you so much more flexibility. And that's why, uh, you know, frankly, getting 25 
people on a, on a webinar is amazing. We can do that because we had email. If we posted it on some website somewhere, nobody would come. But because Chris reached out to you directly, you can, you, you can do that. So I wouldn't count out Substack, but I, I would also wonder, like, is, the new, is it a free newsletter? If it's free, let's, you know, just make it an email. You can get in touch with people. And by the way, the more you do it, the more people expect it. And it's not like, oh, I'm going to unsubscribe or, or that spam. It's like, oh, I, I'm sharing this. You know, when I share stories, when I switched, it was probably about a year and a half ago. I said, okay, I'm, I'm going to near daily from this random, whatever it was at the time, weekly, monthly, sometimes twice a week or a launch. And that changed everything within 30 days. You know, the unsubscribes, the spams went down, and then, you know, it, it's just to a trickle. And I'm, you know, sending out thousands of, you know, tens of thousands of emails a day, not different ones, but one to, you know, multiple subscribers. And the numbers are way down. But, uh, you know, um, so I, I think you use all these things. I think you use, you know, it. For me, in a, in a Malina situation, I would just say, well, all right, I want, I'm going to, if it's free, I'm just going to send that email out, an email newsletter out, but I'll also post it to Substack. But on Substack, I'm going to have some kind of link in there where they come back to my site and give me their email for like, hey, get the, get the guide, you know, to my newsletter, it's the special guide that only people, newsletter subscribers get, come get it, whatever that is. And it could be a two page PDF. Um. They, and so, we are right on time. It is at 40 minutes. Yeah. So let's move on now to our presentation of your incredible new technology. And then, guys, if you can save your questions, I'm sure we will do another Q&A down the road, and then we can do your questions then. The remaining we can, you know, We can hit those last three. So if you bear with me, first of all, we're not selling anything today. So don't feel that fear that comes into play. And I, if you don't mind, Chris, I'm going to, I've got, I'm building an E, uh, a, an E demo and an automated demo for this. And I just got like some slides. So I'll just share it with you because I'm building them. They're not, it's not production. There's probably some typos in there, but it helps me get the point across. Um, yes, just... I think that's a great idea. I just allowed you to share the screen. Okay. And I forgot to yeah. mention to everyone that everyone who stays till the end of the session, Ray actually is going to share with you a free course access to one of his courses for free so yes just so you know can you see that okay yes so i i've coined this phrase author web system because you know we think of a website and then it's like as chris mentioned and i've gone through this and i'm still at that point by the way i mean there's just so many things after whatever it is now six or seven years of building things out i've got stuff all over the place and I've finally found a place to just home for everything. And so when you have a website, you know, that's your web page. Somebody goes to raybrem.com on the internet. They go to my page. They can get it. But when you start doing that, you need the other stuff, right? You, we talking, if nothing else, you need some kind of opt-in where they can give you their email and now you can email them. And um, so when, when you start adding these things on, it becomes tricky, whether you're doing it in uh, um you know, WordPress or this and that. There's all these different things you need time. Sometimes you need Zapier. You need to have, oh, I've got my email system over here and my website over here and I got to integrate them or I got to get the form from my email. So all that crazy stuff. And for me, a web system is something that, you know, I might just need a website today. Maybe tomorrow I need a blog. Maybe in six months I need an opt-in. Uh, all three of those, I would say you, you probably want pretty quick. And you could do them literally in hours if you had to in, in this system. But um, those are the things you're going to want. But guess what? You're going to want a book funnel. So, you know, um, I think it was Angela that was talking about that, you know, selling the book and the funnels and stuff. You know, you could sell your book and fulfill it via Lulu. And, and you could sell, upgrade them to courses all in one funnel. And we'll, we'll just talk about that in a minute um from somewhere else so for me a web system something that can grow with you and you don't have to go buy something else next time and it can do all these things so the, the stress for me was um you know what do we have what's out there that's specifically for authors and entrepreneurs especially those that just they want to focus on their expertise not the the tech so if you've you know you've probably heard 
I, I, I hear this all the time. Well, I'll get to that, but I'm working on my website and that's like takes 10 months or a year for a lot of people. Right. And it did for me too. It's like, what, what goes on there? Well, you know, if I'm an author, what do I need? I can go, you know, we mentioned Kartra. Um, you know, I no longer recommend that for people because this is much better for, for authors, but uh, you go into something like Kartra or click funnels or, or um, infusion soft, which is now keep, or, you know, all these systems. And they, it's like, Hey, here's a cosmetics website, but they don't have anything for authors. And authors need some key things, not nothing fa super fancy, nothing crazy. But we we need to be able to get an opt in. We need to be able to uh, have a book page. We need to be able to sell our courses if we want. And that there wasn't anything that was really geared towards authors out there. And as you know, Chris mentioned, I call this, I have a COBOL programming background from back in the day that we call, we used to call that spaghetti code when it's just all these different systems are tied together. And it was just like impossible to unwind or eat, troubleshoot anything. And you got that. I mean, it, you know, I, we could each go through a list of things, you know, we've got Zapier to connect them all together. And then we've got the email system over here and the website over here and the course, you got a guy by this course platform. And, and every time I see somebody saying, you know, you need to get, uh, you, uh, could you, uh, one of these course platforms, I uh, think if it can teachable and all the, it's like, that just creates more chaos. Yeah. They sell you on one feature that's, Hey, it looks cool and act like that's going to make sales for you. You know, what makes sales for you is building that email list. And so we want it all in one place. Um, you don't want to have to figure out all this complicated stuff just to connect all your stuff together and 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 by the way when you do that i've i've gone through that where i had at the back in the day convert kit and uh click funnels and they were opting in on the page and click funnels which was supposed to have this embedded thing from convert kit and the emails weren't coming to me and but i could see that they were doing it because there was some little bit of tracking in click funnels i went to both of them they both blamed the other software without even looking at it and they say, this is just nuts. I don't want to have to be some tech problem solver to do that. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to be also one of those, I, and, and I help authors. So it's like, I don't want authors to be working on their website for 10 months. I want somebody who says, you know, if, if I, I want my website up today and you could do that with this. I mean, I've never seen anything so fast when I first started testing this. Um, and then, you know, it, let's make you the hero of your niche, of your book of your genre whatever it is you know having to invest all this time in research and so um there was nothing out there for authors and i just asked the question what, what's the, is there a system i can find that gets everything up and running now the other thing that led me to this and you'll know because we you know chris and i host summits together we have a done for you summit service we i i spent oh, it's probably a, i've probably got a thousand hours in building out this complicated template to run summits in in Kartra and that's where we would basically if you hired us to do your done for you summit you'd have to use Kartra because in fact that was the only thing that could even come close to what we wanted to achieve automated to, to make it easy but it was you know if we tried to turn it over to the host it's pretty technical um, and even for us, it was just, it was just so many, and I said, I need something for that. I need to, but I want my template built into the software itself. You know, can I do something like that? So I, I basically came up with a list and really there's five major things I think authors need. And, uh, and then there's a couple other bonus things that I put on my list. The first one is you need a site, right? You need a clean, uh, modern template. You know, it probably be most people on here, if you've got a site, it's probably in WordPress. Oh, I can't stand WordPress. I mean, it's just like, you know, you want to change one little thing up here and it's in some sub menu here, but then the thing next to it is in somewhere else. I mean, it's just like nuts. And then they change their, they upgrade WordPress and it makes everything messed up. I mean, if you go to my blog and stuff, it's like, I'm like, I, I, I'm, I, I'm done with that. I, I just, you know, we just haven't moved it over to the new site yet because we got higher priorities of helping onboard other people. But uh, I need something that looks clean and modern and it can be up in minutes. And literally I did this, you know, we're, we're not even, uh, like I said, we're, we're not selling anything today, but I'm just sharing that this, we're, we're doing the waitlist thing. But 
I have brought private clients into the software by just demoing it to them for, you know, a few minutes and I'll show you around real quick, but, and they're like, I'm in, you know, immediately because it was just so easy to create a site that, and, and we have templates that are, and we're building our, our own suite of templates for authors that, you know, so it's just, it's a, it's a web system for authors and it's very easy to do. The second thing I think you need is, I, I think you do need a blog. So in the case, you know, Melina, if we're, you, you could still do Substack, you could still do Wix, whatever, but you know, it's essentially what you're talking about is a blog. Um, you know, really the only choice and not the only choice, but you know, we're back to WordPress again. And yeah, it, it's got, you know, it's, it's got the SEO and whatever. Um, that used to be an advantage. Now it's not because all these companies that have software, you know, they, they know how to put the keywords and stuff and you just have to know what you're, you know, what you want to search on. But anyway, setting up a blog is just like, a, I, I remember doing it and I'm techie. But I remember doing it thinking, this just stinks, trying to figure out, you know, WordPress or whatever the site is. This software, the blog is already built. When you enroll, you, it's just like you go to blogs, it's like create your first post. It's done. And you can put it in a custom domain and all that stuff, but it's it's just done. It's really cool. I'll show you that in a second. The third thing is we need opt-ins for freebies. Every author should be having an opt-in, should be getting building the email list, and it shouldn't be some complex question. And I get, I forget who asked the question, but whoever did, I'm with you. It, everywhere else, it's just, it's like, it seems like it's, you know, they make it rocket science to have a way for people to give you their email to get something free. This is like, you know, I could pop something up in 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 20 minutes. And in fact, the people that you know are signing on the software that's why we don't even have open enrollment yet because i'm just like i want to make sure everybody's got this stuff so we do these these weekly calls and we just make sure everybody's set up you know within you know a week or two everything's go good to go um but it's much easier in in this software and then you know it has to help you build the audience and so the the template's got to look good the uh, communication with the audience is good. So it's got email built in. You get an opt-in, they get an email, but this thing has some cool stuff and I don't want to get into so much of the fancy stuff because it can seem more overwhelming, but there's one, I can click one button inside the software and turn on a little widget on my page. And if somebody comes to my page and has a question, they could type it in and it says, what's your name and your, your cell phone? And it comes to you and I'm I, like, this was not some rocket science. I download the app for the software that we that we use. They send a message through my site. I can respond to them on my phone from anywhere. And all of a sudden, you got this amazing connection with your audience. So it's 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 super cool. Um, but mainly, it's you know we hand it handles all your emails. Uh, and these the, this is my list, of course. And then of course you need to be able to sell your next thing. And you may not have this yet. But that's why we do things like, uh, you know, you do summits and things that you can sell your next thing. A lot of times now, pretty much everything I do is a pilot. And by that, I mean, uh, if I'm going to um, create a course, I go to sell it to my audience first and say, look, I'm going to give you this course for half price. You got to attend live, give me feedback. I'm going to teach it to you live. There's going to be some glitches we're gonna you know and then i'm gonna clean up the course and sell it full price later will you help me do that and people will love to learn for half price i mean i do so that's how i do a lot of things but um this what i wanted was you know i don't know what you think about kartra chris but i mean kartra click funnels i mean these are the top players their their course areas don't look that great i mean i i've got courses in them but this this software i wanted a professional but i didn't want to have like one thing that stalls most of us, I think, is you you buy some software, and then it's like, okay, go design it how you want it to look. It's like, well, I'm not even sure how it should look. You know, what what's the best way for it to look? This doesn't this this software it it basically it's fill in the blanks and it creates this professional looking courses right away. So I'll show you that later. But that's like that had to be there. And, Ray, and um, just to add here, and the most important part, guys, about the course membership area is that if you compare it to Kartra and Kajabi, so for example, in Kartra, you have a limit at two courses, then you have to pay additional amount per month. 
Kajabi, the same thing. I, I don't remember what is the, the, the limit there, but at some point you, you again have to pay more and have to pay more. And I always get against those ceilings and you have to keep on paying more every month or every year. And what is beautiful about the grandfathered opportunity for those on the wait list is that you will be able to have unlimited courses and your price is not going to keep on going up and up. It's, it's, it's fixed at that grandfathered price. So that is a beautiful thing to remember. I'm glad you brought that up because I don't have that in the slides yet. I mean, I'm just, this is still a work in progress, but as far as the, so the software works, it's been running for three or four years. It powers, uh, you know, 10,000 companies are, are around the, the world, but the, the, this author version, this, I just don't have the sales, all the sales stuff up and, and running yet. And because one, we're going to take just clients. I'm just, we're onboarding just a few clients a week to make sure their sites are all set up and they can get on a call with us and, and, and get that all set up. And we, you know, we're, nobody's perfect, but we're going for a hundred percent success rate and just getting authors set up. So that's, that's part of why the slides aren't done and all that, but, and, and we thought just the timing of, of the um, summit and everything made sense to talk about it. Uh, but you can, you know, what you just said, Kartra, I mean, I would say I've been promoting Kartra for a long time, but if you get to, if you want to post your third course, now you're at $200 a month. If you go over 2,500 emails in your system, uh, email addresses, now you're at $200 a month. If you go over 100 web pages, which can happen pretty quickly if you're doing summits and, and a lot of these things we talk about, you, you know, you, you're over. But most of the people are going, like the courses is the thing. And, you know, we could talk about, we can get on tangent, you know, micro courses and, and comp contributing to stacks because that's another way to get emails. Um, I've got some courses that are going to be built into the system that, that talk about that, but, and how to build those, but you're going to need more than two, right? So, um, you know, plan ahead, but what we're doing with people is, you know, founders member pricing, it will never go up. And that's unlimited web pages, unlimited, uh, funnels. We'll talk about in a second. Um, the only things that ever would change in price are if you start using the text feature and if, or if you're sending a, you know, a boatload of emails, it's just like a, you know, a thousandth of a cent or something for, you know, for emails over a certain amount, but uh, most people never hit that. And if they do, they're, they're, uh, you know, they're rolling, they're rolling in money anyway, but uh, so, and that's just overages the, the source code charges us, but um, the, so then those are the five things. Now I'll just add the six things for me, is I, you know, but I don't want to be limited, right? So most, I would say 95% of the people we're going to be bringing into you this software is um, our authors, probably, you know, that they need those things we talked about. They need courses, they need opt-ins, they need uh, book funnels, which is, you know, that's part of what some of the things we talked about there. Um, but there's some people that have like, you know, either they have agencies or they've got a brick and mortar and they need to be able to like, I mean, this software can do things like someone calls your business and you're out in the field, you know, working and it can auto text them back and say, sorry, I missed you. I'm out in the field. Can, you know, what can I help you with? And you get this community, you, it saves you from losing customers. There's a, there's a whole angle to that. Of, in, if you're in coaching, uh, you know, you're trying to get people You maybe you sell your coaching services by having a Zoom call. Well, you don't want to miss those people that come to your site and ask a question or, or, or browsing your site. It's like, hey, you know what? I'm here. Let me ask a question. Now you've got a conversation. It tracks the conversations. It does all this complicated stuff if you wanted to, but uh, most people won't use that. But I wanted that feature because there, there's going to be people coming to me asking for that. So that had to be part of it. And then the last thing is it needs to be customizable for, for authors. Um and, and meaning this is more for me, like I, as the platform owner, I need to be able to make changes to it that, that benefit the, uh, be benefit authors, you know, my main audience. And so this is, even though pretty much any entrepreneur can use anybody that's using Kartra or ClickFunnels or anything there, this is going to be better. We're going to cut, we've customized it for authors and we're going to continue to customize it for authors. And so, the, the, you know, the name of the platform is PubFunnels. If you think like publisher funnels, 
and it's really web systems for authors. And I will, uh, let's see here. Let's, let me share a different screen for you real quick. And I, I don't even know, tell me the time, Chris, but I'll, I'll just whip through it here. Yeah, we have a little bit of time. It's 11.58. And I also posted a link to wait list where people can subscribe okay. to the wait list. Yeah, and I made you a short link too. Let me see if I, so if you, if you, if you leave the meeting, you can just go to pubfund.me slash Chris, and that is your, that's that same link. Oh, that's great. Um, now, let's see. I'm just going to share here. This, uh, you know, it's, um, let's see. I'm in a browser here. I'm in a, I'm in a demo account, but I, the only thing, I, there's a lot of stuff. But I'm, what I want to talk about, one is, it, you know, all the, the functions real quick. But two is, this one I'm talking about customization. They've got, for instance, we've got a, it's a, it's a pay per, per word. It's, I think, you know, 75 cents for a thousand words or so, or seven cents for that. I can't remember. We've got, uh, we haven't even implemented yet, but we've got content AI. So there's AI uh, applications you can use in here, but we can customize this. So for instance, I've got a pub funnels TV in here. These are the top interviews I've ever done. And, and it's a basically a, if you'd like to binge watch stuff, it's a live stream. Uh, you come in here and, um, you know, right now there's Rob Cosberg, right? So that's what's streaming on air right now through that. Um, on every Tuesday at 1 p.m. Eastern, we do the pub crawl. And that is where you just come into a Zoom room, like the, a Zoom room, share your screen, or I go into your account and we, we just fix things. We just, we want everything up and running. And so, you know, that's a weekly coaching and, and tech help. I mean, nobody does that. You try to get that from Kartra or ClickFunnels. I mean, it's just like you buy the software, then you got to go figure it out. And then you end up frustrated a month and cancel. This is like, we, we know the value we're, you know, we're, we're targeting a, a niche in the market that's authors. Most of us authors aren't that techie. So let's just get some help and get this thing set up and, and, and done. But you can jump on, you could say, look, I've got, you know, I need to talk about my, how the book funnel or the offer is going to work, or should I create this course one way or another? You can do that there. Um, but we're adding custom features here all the time. That AI will be turned on probably in the next couple of weeks. Um, but let's just talk. There's a lot of things here. You don't need to worry about too much. Really, most of the time you're going to be setting up, and this is somewhat set it and forget it, but you come in and you've got funnels, websites, and we'll talk about that in a second. You've got your blogs. You can, you can host your WordPress. If you don't want to, you know, uh, give up that you can host it inside pub funnels. And it's generally, I, I don't know what even what the pricing is. I don't know how WordPress works, but it's, it's not, it's, you know, a handful of dollars a month, whatever that is. Um, you could come in and see your courses uh, you got forms, surveys. This is the chat widget you can turn on. You can upload your media here. So this is, you know, you would upload your PDFs right here. Uh, you have custom domains. I've, I've set up custom domains. It literally, you you know, you could, I've, for instance, this is pub demos, pubdemos.com. I bought and went in the name cheap, changed the A record, which we, we give instructions how to do that. It's very simple. Put it in here and literally in under three minutes, my site was up. Now, of course, I used a template and I had to, you know, I wanted to change things around, but that's what it makes it so cool. If I go to blogs, um, you know, uh, basically when you come in here now, I've got some posts in here and I actually post our pub crawl videos in this uh, account. Um, you know, if you want to go back and see some, some of those, but when you come in here as a new user, it's not like, okay, do these 18 steps to set up your blog. It's like, nope, let's do a new post. And that first post is going to take a couple minutes longer than the rest because they want to, you're going to probably then set, create a new author, which is you, and which has your image in it and all that stuff. But then these are in the system. And then all I do is go to my website and, uh, you know, these, this site was a one-click build. And then I went in here and customized this page and mainly for pub crawl, but it's, it's here. There's a widget. Well, let's just pull it up. As a matter of fact, let's just pull it up. It's a widget that you can add to any page of your site. And it's just like display the blog, 
you know, the, the latest blog post and I can say, oh, I want, you know, I've made this nice and clean and short for the pub demo site, but um, this is, you know, do, do you want it compact? Do you want it standard? How many do you want to show? Okay, I'm going to show 12. The widget doesn't show up but when I go to browse it. I can hit preview real quick instantly see any changes I made and you know I, I I pulled all the other fancy stuff off this page and said this is just for people to attend pub crawl and they want to come see this um, and these are the, the, the you know the version we have so far so um, but what's you know the, the cool thing is let's go back out of here is this is so easy to manipulate if you know like Chris I don't know if you know the if you've dealt with it much but um, in Kartra, I'm, oh my gosh, moving elements around is just, they've made it worse. It's excruciating. And here it looks, this, don't let any of this stuff, this stuff makes it so easy. You know, in Kartra, I've got to go find this gear and it moves half the time. All I got to do is click here and change things around. If I come here and said, you know what, this paragraph, I can either drag it right above it or, and th there it is. Or I can say, no, no, that was supposed to be up there. I can drag it or I can just hit this arrow. It pops it right back up here super easy i click here uh let's say this is the back okay you know what i want some i want to shadow that box i like doing this and what gives it that modern look and if i click off of there you can see there's a little shadow around that box uh let's do it for this column i can do the same thing it's just it's super easy to change the look and feel now if i click off there you can see how that it's it's elevated that that whole those images above this the page uh, if i go preview it oops let's that's going to save Let's do that again, save, and then preview, and boom. I mean, it's done. You can see this page is live with this shadow on it. Clean look. You, you know, you could come in here, put your logo, put about, you know, you you just change some things, and you're instantly up and running. That's what I love. And I won't, I won't go into all the, like, you know, you don't need to see where the emails are and all that stuff, but it, just to give you, it's a feel. And one of the things that we're doing differently than everybody else, too, is we've got this, our, our help desk is right inside the software. Man, I tell you, that's another one, pet peeve. Kartra, if, if I got an issue, I got to click on something like 18 clicks to some other web page, and then it's a different login than my Kartra account. I submit a ticket and I might get an answer in five days. Sometimes and we had a client two weeks ago who accidentally deleted her premium pass from her summit, which is a course area. And emailed uh kartra and then she just emailed me in a panic and i said okay let me look i looked in and i said okay uh we're gonna have to rebuild it but we you know i gotta connect i'll go connect these things we had it fixed in two hours redone basically and then a week later she's like you know i still haven't heard back from kartra <laughs> but this this little bubble here you click on this it's got our entire library in it Okay, so all these things, you know, this is the featured article for today, but you can search anything in here and, and get instant help on that. But the best part is this this chat, I don't want to activate them, to, but I, I just put in a question, starts the chat, they generally answer within 90 seconds. Now you tell me a software that does that, uh, and they're good. And I had w one of my favorite people who's also the self-proclaimed least techie probably on my list, He's like, I, they got back to me right away. Yeah, you know, next thing I know, his custom domain is set up, and he's like, I don't even know what that is, you know. But it was it was done because they, you know, we've got so the the help is in there. I'm, you know, integrated with that as far as like second tier. But I do the, you know, for me, that's why we're bringing people on slow because we want to um, uh, just get everybody set up instead of like getting in there and, and floundering around like a fish out of water. It's like, let's just get you in every new system you go into, even for people that are techie takes some time to learn. How about we just like get it set up for you? And that's what those, those weekly calls are for. So anyway, um, the last thing I'll just say is nobody else has this as far as I know, Kartra is, is websites and funnels. They both function as web pages, but a funnel is some it's it's laid out like this and they come here and then when they do whatever action funnels are really used for people to take action so this is your opt-ins your um and you can do them on both you can do it on the website pages but some people this is how click funnels is laid out Kartra's laid out more like websites we do it both ways 
And so you can have a simple opt-in or sales funnel where it's like, okay, they buy this. And it's like, do you also want to buy this too? And do you want to buy this? Or an opt-in funnel, it's like, hey, here's a checklist for your email. And then it's a thank you page. And it makes it super clean and easy to look at, uh, to do. Um, you know, that one click test that takes like six clicks or something in, in Kartra. I don't know. Uh, but I can click and test this page and and say, okay, you know, I want to do that. And okay, I'm going to click this button and I don't have anything filled out for that template, but um, just so easy to work with. And then a lot of this stuff, once you get it set up right, you're not going to be in there editing pages every day. You're going to be doing that. You're going to move into conversations, which is where, you know, all your clients, you're going to have contacts. You can have conversations going on. Um, I won't go into all those, but anyway, if you can't tell, I'm pretty, pretty excited about it. So. <laughs> Such an incredible system will save a lot and, of money to a lot of people. And we have two questions but, from Eric. Okay, sure. So one is, do you integrate with BookFunnel? Uh, so BookFunnel functions similar to what we're doing. Um, now, if they can, I don't know if they have a Zapier connection, but if they do, we can probably connect to it. What I would probably, I wouldn't say, you know, depends on what you're using book funnel for so my impression is most people are using that to do book swaps and build email lists right but you you want to take those emails off to your own platform anyway and so if you're taking emails from book funnel now they're on your list great if they're using if you're using that to fulfill a free book or even sell one great too just make sure you're getting the emails i would say this would would you know, it could replace it unless you're just doing the the swaps on there um, because you can fulfill a book, you can sell a book. So you can connect. I didn't go into all that, but you can you connect your PayPal, your Stripe, and then just say, I'm selling my book for, you know, $9.99 or, or whatever, a digital book. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I've got people that use BookFunnel as just to connect with people for swaps. So maybe you're not using it that way. If you're trying to fulfill paper books, um, I mean, this doesn't do that. Uh, for me, it's a matter of you would make, you can do that through Lulu and you can connect some of that through Lulu. So uh, that would answer that question. But I'll say, so what we're doing is, uh, you know, just to be clear, if you use that link, get on the wait list, but I'll know it came from Chris. And what we're doing is just if people get on the wait list. Once they're up, we just, you know, we, we ping you and say, Hey, do you want to get in? What we're, it, it's unlimited funnels, everything. And, you know, just to be, um, you know, we talked about the different tiers. Ours is $97 a month and it's just, it's unlimited funnels, unlimited everything. Most of, if you want to get to unlimited with other software, it's, it's at least $300 a month. And so um, we're doing that for the, um, the, uh, the founders are just getting completely everything. You know, as long as you stay enrolled, you're, you'll, you'll have 97 for month, you know, a month for everything and grandfathered in. Peggy's asking, yes, we are cre recreating our summit funnels for Kartra in this platform. And uh, it's going to be easier for us to run summits, but also for our clients. And we will be adding that training too into our summit lab training of how to get it up and running, but it's going to be, it's not in there now, but it, we, we will add it to everyone's accounts once it's ready. And then uh, once it's there, though, we've got our own. You can imp, you can use all the templates in there, right? So you can say, I want to start a new website. I want to use this template and, and create one. But we're going to have the author stuff already created for you. So you just have to go in if, if you want to use that template. When you enroll, you're going to have the author homepage you're gonna have an opt-in funnel you're gonna have a uh, book funnel and you're gonna the, the summit template will be in there for people that uh, um, you know that enroll and, and ready to use and then there's you know there's there's training we're putting in a we've got a quick start training on a lot of those that obviously that helped us we'll get you through some things but um, you know right now we're focused on bringing people on that are interested interested in getting obviously the lifetime value of the of that rate and then uh you know especially people that that need their sites going now and need ways to 
sell their products, courses, services, and so forth. And there was another question from Eric. Do you support direct sales from the website? Can we yep. sell directly from the site? Yep. So this is a matter of if you, you know, like we said, it's, it's, you connect in Stripe and PayPal, you can set up products. So that could be, um, you know, if your book is, is there, it's just the fulfillment. We, we don't, there's no print on demand in this. Uh, so, you, you know, how, how do you, how do you fulfill it? A lot of times people will use Lulu. Um, but really, it's, especially if you're going to sell, you know, if you're going to send, sell the Kindle version or digital version, that's, I mean, you can have that up and running same, same day, a few hours. I love this platform. I think it's going to save so much money. It's so easy to use. It's so user-friendly, designed for non-technical people who don't have time or don't want to spend a lot of time trying to figure out how to connect everything. And, uh, and I well, think, especially the way we're onboarding people, even if even if that scares you, it's like, well, yeah, I'm a non-techie, but I haven't found a software yet that doesn't, you know, you know, frustrate me in the beginning. Yeah, I hear you. We're all like that. So that's the reason we've got this, you know, this, uh, the pub crawl, as we call it, is just come and let's get it set up. Because most, it's like I said, you're not, the goal is, you know, you're not editing websites every day anyway, but the goal is for you, like, let's just get that part behind you and then goes, you know, okay, now let's think about what I want to sell. Okay. That's what I'm going to work on next week or next month. And, uh, and how do I, okay, you know, but I want the, I want the course set up. I want my opt-in set up. I want the ability to just create a course, you know, tomorrow, you know, if you, if you can, a lot of people, I, I do, I mean, I've got the folders of videos and it's, so if, for me, it's easy to quickly create a course. I've got it, you know, courses on other platforms that I'm, I'm moving to here, but, um, the goal is like, you don't have to mess with this stuff as we want it. It's going to be easy if you want to play around and, and create new things. And the other thing is that there's no, I, th I don't think we mentioned this, Kartra, if you go over, what is it, three domains? Now it's 10 bucks a month for each one. Um, and it, correct, you don't need click funnels and pub funnels. And matter of fact, we've got a cool feature where you literally, if you log into click funnels, Log into Pub Funnels, copy the link from the the your 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 funnel step in Pub and Click Funnels. It imports it in seconds to Pub Funnels. So like the migration from Click Funnels is off the charts easy. Uh, and of course, we can help you with that. But uh, um, I you know when I tested that, I'm like, this is amazing because. And by the way, like Click Funnels doesn't even have. I know they got 2.0 coming out and all that stuff, but they don't even have coupons. And you and I do info stack, things like that. It's like, I just want to be able to create a course. It's $4.97, but the coupon makes it free. So info stack people can grab it. Can't do that in ClickFunnels. You know, I could send them to a free page and it's just all that messing around and all that figuring all that stuff out. It's like, no, nah, nah, here, here's a, here's a, I can create the course free. I can create it for a price and give them a coupon. Done, done. And it's like, I'm actually building a course inside Pub Funnels specifically to show you how to quickly create contributions to stacks like InfoStack, uh, BC Stack. We've got some stacks coming up later this year. So, um, but yet, yeah, right, Bobbery, that's like, uh, you would be amazed at how much more feature rich, easier to use this is than ClickFunnels. And you can migrate stuff pretty quickly. So, yes. And if you have two courses that you're giving away for free as lead magnet on Kartra, it's not actually free for you. You're paying $97 a month just for those two courses you're giving away for free. So it adds up so fast. Once you start building out your business, it adds up very fast. And that's, I, I, I lost my train of thought and got excited. And for, with the point I was going to make about also about Kartra is it's three custom domains, right? So a lot of us, we like to have the custom domain for our book too, right? So I've got like the the author startup dom and things like that. And, but I could never host them all. So I had to like redirect them at Namecheap to some raybrem.com slash page because otherwise I was going to pay hundreds of, and hundreds of dollars a month. I've got probably a hundred URLs in Namecheap. And with Puff Funnels, there's no extra cost. 
whatever put as many custom domains there you want that to me was like oh my gosh that's a no-brainer because we always had to for me unless i wanted to just throw money to cartridge down the tube i would just say you know i'm going to redirect it to ray brim and i'll have to rebrand that this one's like you know you can have completely different branded pages um you know different icons and still integrated with your main site it just doesn't look like it and you can say click home or go check out ray bram at the bottom or about us and it switches you to or the ray bram site and it's all integrated and easy to do and there's no extra you know tens of hundreds of dollars a month and so now i can have that um a dedicated page to my book in the same account no extra costs and I would also say another huge benefit of this platform for someone who is new to the entire online business game or the game. Well, I would say the huge benefit here is that you actually, you don't need to know everything you need to do. It's already there. The steps are there. All the templates are there. Someone who have been in this business for a long time already developed the templates. You, you need to obtain go get the opt-in. You need the website, go take the template and get the website. Because what I see with people who are starting online businesses is that they're often in business for five years and they don't have an opt-in. They are an author, they publish their books, they don't have an opt-in. The reason they don't have an opt-in because they cannot, it takes a lot of time. They tried it, it was so hard to put it all together, they give up. And so having, having it all as templates and in addition to it, you actually can get help if you get stuck. I never came across an opportunity like that before. So I think it is incredible. And Peggy is asking, is the website speed fast? Yep. So the she's right. You know, Peggy thinks like me. We've we've spent some time together on some you know workshops and stuff. But um, when I go into stuff, it's like that. That's the first thing I check. It's like I, I click on the page. Uh, I find them much faster. The editing, so for one is, does the page load fast to the public, right? Yes, it's super fast actually. And I, you know, I don't have any timings, but I know it's faster than Kartra pages load. Uh, the other thing is, you know, in Kartra, you have to start every website with www. So if somebody types in the naked page, if, if you don't have it set up, right? If a name sheet just like shows an error and people are like, whoa, you're not legit because you're, well, this one you can you can pro this is the only one I know that you actually can key in the, the naked URL and the www and cover both bases uh, at this you know at the same time. And then but even more importantly, inside the software, I was just I mean, we are running officially our last Kartra summit in a couple of weeks. And everything else, our clients, everything else is going into pub funnels for an out. Um so if you're thinking of running a summit and you want help from us, like that's the, you know, even if you're just taking one of our course or something, uh, that's where we're going. And, you know, it's, a, it's the same price, except uh, you get unlimited. Um, so even just from a price standpoint, it makes complete sense, but also from a summit standpoint, but I was in there last night and I'm like, you know, it's like, uh, you know, I hadn't been in the cartridge for a while and I was just tweaking some things. It was like, those gears start turning and it's just like, this drives me nuts. It's just so slow to do things. You try dragging and dropping a cartridge and this whole page skips. And it's like, you know, they've made this worse over the years. Uh, they're focused on other things. Um, and by the way, founders, you know, you can, you can also, as Chris is doing, you can, you can also become affiliates and, and, you know, you refer a couple people and then you're, you're, you're kind of done. Um, yeah, I, I think that's the the difference too, Barbara. Is that you know we just like the people I helped this this week. Some of the first people I brought in, they're like, you know, I'm like, hey, you got to you got to go to name people and got to point the A record back to Puffle. They're like, I don't even know what that is. I'm like, you know what? You don't need to know. Let's just do it on the Zoom call, and we were done in five minutes. Um, so that that's the goal. Is like, and I you know that won't be for ever um but i don't see that pub crawl that weekly call i don't see that going any way anytime soon because we just want to onboard people and we know if we get them up and running that's just so much more empowering than feeling especially authors you're trying to get in i mean i've been there and i'm a techie but i've been in there like this is 
I feel so low because I can't figure this out. It's because they made it so hard. And, uh, you know, I mean, every, it's, it's not going to be perfect. There's going to be things that you go in there and like, I can't figure out how to do this, but that's why we're, we're, you know, I don't see probably at least the rest of the year, we're going to have that pub crawl where you can get in and get stuff fixed and help. And, and it's not just that you can ask like, Hey, I, I'd like to add a book funnel. Does this make sense? And, and we'd say, well, what do you got? Um, so I would say that's. So I would like for everyone to take advantage and get on the wait list. So at least you are on the wait list when the opportunity comes up to, to become one of the founding members and have a grandfathered prize. And uh, we really enjoyed having you with us on this call. Let us know in chat, what was your main takeaway from today's session? Yeah, and I'll just say, I mean, it's just like everything, it's, I've got a, a, a new course series coming out called version one. And it's like, get that first version out there. There's the, the theory about it. So I've got it, you know, it's going to, it's got, uh, these are things I've already taught, but we're rebranding it. It's how do you get your first course out? It's far more important than spending 10 months in a silo trying to perfect everything. How do you get your first website up? you know we can get people's website up and you know on that pub crawl we can get a couple sites up you know every week at, at the very minimum um but most of the we're, we're doing some things so we'll we'll if you get on the wait list we'll reach out one by one if you need to do a quick 15 minute call kind of demo slash not not a coaching call but just you know is this for me we do that we can show you around um and, you know, but uh, we'll, we'll reach out and kind of when your, when your turn comes up and, and just say, hey, you want to jump, you want to join or you want to do a quick call, we can do that and then um, help you. But the, the goal is, too, that you're going to be up and running very quick with a website, opt in with whatever you need. And uh, thank you so much for everyone who is posting kind messages in chat. We really appreciate you all. And Peggy said, get a good all-in-one auto platform for all my asses. That is the main takeaway. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for your very kind words. We really appreciate it. We really enjoyed spending this time with you. We hope that this session was helpful for you. And uh, we look forward to continue working with you. And Ray, thank you so much for taking the time to be here and being this incredible human that you are. <sighs> You too, Chris. Thanks for being partner with me on all this. And it just makes it a lot more fun. It, by the way, all of us, I mean, I this dispel the myth that authors are, you got to work alone in the cabin by the woods. We're all in this together. That's why we're doing the software. That's why we do stuff like this is, hey, let's just help each other. You, you, if you're not techie, let's help you get the software. If you got some questions about your thing, you know, come to this webinar um, and you can, you can, we can do a lot more together than individually. So. Ray, and we also mentioned we're going to give your free course. What is the best yeah. way to do that? Uh, which one were we given? I can't even remember. To be Whichever one you want. <laughs> what do people need? Um, we're all authors. I'll give you the, uh, I've got a course on it. Does anybody use Pubby here? I'm, you can get eight reviews a week with Pubby. It's, you know, there's, that's a subscription. It's not me. But I've got a course on how to use it and how I batch stuff together and just get it done like in about 30 minutes a week. I and think that's I'm, a great I'm, 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 Yeah. So <laughs> like, I guess I can, uh, I'll just, let me get the coupon stuff. You could email to everybody in the next yeah, hour or so. I can do that. Maybe not in the next hour because I have full day, but later. <laughs> the yeah. We'll, we'll send it to you in an email. I mean, if you want to just bear with me, let me just see if I've got a coupon for that. Sure. Let's do that. I might have one already created. Um, In the meantime, guys, post us more insights. I love, I love seeing what stood out for you because then I know what kind of content we need to create for you to help you more. What are you struggling most with? What stood out for you out of this call as most helpful insight for you right now?
Ryan said, I like that the course can only be 30 minutes. I usually overthink this, but there's a lot I can do for 30 minutes. That's a great com comment, by the way, because if you look at it, look at, I mean, I don't know if this, maybe it's just me. I mean, I'm weird like this. But when I look at a book on Amazon that I'm interested in, and then it says it's 300, 400 pages, I'm like, forget it. I, I can't invest that much time. But if I can see, if I see it's like 60 to 80 pages, I'm like, I can, I know I can read that in a half hour. I'm going to do that. The same goes for courses. There's nothing worse than getting a course and you go in and you kind of do the math and you're like, okay, this is going to take 12 hours to my time. And so a lot of my courses like this puppy one, uh, you know, you can, you're obviously going to have to imply it and there's going to take some time applying what you learned, although not much, um, but you can get through the course in less than an hour. And uh, in fact, it's probably less than 30, it's probably 30 minutes. So, uh, and I think also just if we can bear with it, I'll put the link in here, but you could send yeah. it out later too. But no, uh, let, let, let's let's get the link. I'm now. just going to create a coupon that way. Your people aren't wondering are they really going to do it? Um, and Selena said I that I, had I am much more likely to finish an online course that is 60 minutes than one that is th three hours. And I would also say that when it is a course that helps people solve one small problem, maybe not small, but one specific problem, then you can definitely do it in 30 minutes. And uh, those courses that cover a lot of things, most people never get through them. They just get stuck after the first few lessons and they give up. It's just too hard, too much. So when we develop in courses as, as creators, as uh, teachers, it's important to not only think about putting in as much as we can of our knowledge into it, but also think about how do we make it, um, how do we maximize chances that someone actually get through it and, and does the work? And the easier it is, the, the, the higher the chance that someone actually going to go through the course and be able to take the action. So I think that us talking about this today liberated many of you guys to actually go and create your first course because it's not that hard. And I see Ray posted us a link. So now we're all yes, set. It's just a quick coupon page, but you can see how to get eight reviews a week using Pubby. So, I mean, that's a subscription. I think it's $20 a month, but you can use the course and they've got a free 10 days or something. And you so you can get like eight, 10, 12, uh, um, um, reviews even for free if you don't want to continue with the subscription i just buy the annual and then i i do a bunch of batches when i can you can you know you can batch up so many per week but it's basically you are reviewing books and then you get credits and then you can you spend those credits to share your book with the other reviewers it all goes with amazon's terms of service um and then my course is telling you like how to how to you know, do all that matt as many reviews as you can with as little time effort a week. And, and that's how I do it, so. Ray, right. and did you notice that the reviews are kind? Yes. That helps. You've, you've got a great audience. Um, but yeah, I, I agree with Ryan, Selena. Yeah, I, I mean, honestly, I, I think micro courses, micro workshops, things like this. I mean, it's like, okay, we've we're going a little, well, no, we're about 90 minutes. I mean, hopefully you got something out of it, but that's, you know, we want that to be a good time investment. We don't need to have it for four hours or three days, although I do that, some of that stuff too, occasionally. But um, yeah, so thanks everybody. Let's wrap up here. We are looking forward to see you very soon in some other capacity. Our next summit is going to be amazing. We are planning something different. And um, we, are, we have not planned to do a replay, but we likely will do a replay and I will send out an email if we decide do, to do a replay. And uh, again, make sure you guys that you get the waitlist link and raise course link before we finish up. And again, thank you so much for being here and thank you for being the kind of people who want to do more than what most people would do. So you're actually taking the time to be on this call and learn how you can be a better writer, a better business owner and better contributor to the world. We need more people like you. Thank you so much for, for, for investing in your development because this is the only way we can move forward as, 
as, as human race. So again, thank you so much for everyone. Thank you so much to everyone for being here. Thank you, Ray, for being here and for being this incredible person that you are. And I look forward to connecting with all of you very soon. Bye, everyone. Bye.